Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Draxos the Barbarian. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Um, I mentioned in one of my previous videos a book that I believed had overly sexualized females and I want to talk about this book a little bit. This is Winona Earp Strange Inheritance by Bo Smith. Um, it is, it's a pretty thick book. Uh, I think it costs 22 euro, so you know, I don't know how many, oh it says right there, $29. Um, but IDW, um, real quick, if you look at IDW's art in this and you look at their modern art, you will see a stark difference. Um, they have definitely gone downhill. So I just want to talk about this for a bit. This is a really good cover. This is a fantastic cover. I wish the interior art was more like this. That's like a really badass image of Winona. And to all the Americans, that's Winona Earp, not Winona Earp. You pronounce the Y like an I. You know, that, that really bugs me in the show. I like, uh, I like the show. There's a show based on this. Uh, it's nothing like this. There's nothing like this comic. This comic was made in the early 2000s, and it's got a lot of the 90s flavor to it. A lot of the artwork wouldn't be terribly out of place in a Spawn comic. Um, right, so go on. That's just the creative teams. Um, this is an omnibus of all... All of the uh, Winona Earp comics released in the early 2000s, so it's sort of, the, the creative team varies from person to, uh, um, arc to arc, but I'll mainly be just talking about the first couple, because I never really made it to, to the end arcs. I heard Yeti Wars was quite good, but I never really made it that far. Now, <coughs> the book begins with this sort of, what I at the time thought was very pearly drawn. I, I realized, like, as you read on, that it's all meant to be very stylized. A lot of this book is stylized. This is not a great way to open an omnibus, and if this was the beginning of a comic, I definitely wouldn't pick this comic up. And, like, like this is... I get it stylized, I just don't like that style. Now, this is a flashback telling about Winona Earps um, being recruited into the Black Bag Badge Division. division. Uh, they hunt monsters. Um, the story isn't all that important. I'm not really doing a proper review of this. That's a good cover. It's also an image later on in the book. That's a really good cover. Um, now we get to the proper comic. This is better art. Much better art. Some of this art is fantastic. Um, and here we get to Winona. This is Winona Earp. She definitely is over-sexualized. Um, diversity in comics is probably love this comic, comic now that I'm thinking about it. Knowing his videos. But this is clearly an over-sexualized woman. And as you see this throughout the book, she's also a complete badass. Like, she kills monsters, nobody. You can look there, she's killed monsters. Like, and she does have faults and all. The, the dialogue for this was pretty cringy. I haven't read it in a while, but it's mostly the art I'm talking about. But the dialogue for this book was pretty cringy. It wasn't very good, and I don't recommend it. But some of the images are definitely worthwhile. That is a cool image. And here's the thing. That's a cool image. And partially, mostly, because it's over-sexualized. But if you tone down the sexualization of it, it would still be a cool image. Give her, you know, smaller breasts, uh, maybe, no, I'd keep the waist, um, basically a top. And do you know what? That would still be a cool image. Because it just looks cool. It's got that it factor. Um, the rest of the art, the art in this book, like, it's really good, but it's also very clearly early 20, um, 20 uh, 2000s. And late 90s, like very clearly inspired by that. That's a cool. That's the cover again. I just really like that image. Um, then you get like to the Winona Earp. Everything with him in it was really well done. I, I like that character. Um, skip a few pages. And there you go, like Winona Earp again. She is, yeah, she's a pretty badass, but pretty badass in this book. Like, but clearly it's over sexualized. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because. Despite some of these images looking pretty badass throughout the book, I would be happy if we never went back to this style of comics. This sort of really over-sexualization of comics. It was good in the 90s. It was... Well, it was good in the 90s. Um, a lot of things were acceptable in the 90s. It's not so good now. And that's a cool image as well. Kind of, you know, the horse. And, yeah, I like that. Um, but... I like the little gargoyle thing. But I would be okay if we never went back to this comic. because, Like this style. I like some of the images. But I don't think we need to go back here. But I think when we're talking about. You know. Showing female bodies as they are. You know. The editors and writers at Marvel. They think this is what we mean. 
they think that this is the type of of a uh, woman we want shown. We only want people shown like this Winona Earp character. That's a good image too. I really like that image. I like that one too. But this isn't the type of character we always want. Like, it, again, some of them like this, honestly, yeah, if the di like, this isn't a terrible comic, it's sort of mediocre, but I wouldn't be terribly opposed to having some women like this, but I would prefer them to look maybe a little bit more realistic. That being said, I don't want them to look like fate. You know, the overweight superhero. That's just a dumb concept. Um, I don't want them pregnant like in Spider-Woman, which is weird. Which is actually funny because Winona Earp, the TV show. Um, if anyone hasn't watched it, go watch Winona Earp, the TV show. It is how you do... Well, okay, it, there's no politics in it. But you, you could see that the... The actors and all that definitely have a certain politics about them. You know, there's gay characters, there's, you know, a black guy, there's all this stuff, but it never comes up. Like, the gay characters are just gay. They're, they're, they do do the lesbian thing where, like, you know, two lesbians beat magnets, they get together. But it, it even suits in the way it works. Um, you you um, look at Dolls, he's a the black bag badge detective. He never mentions being black, he just happens to be black and be very, very cool. Uh, Winona Earp is fantastic. In season two, she is in fact pregnant, but they do it really, really well. Um, I recommend the Winona Earp show. That's why I bought this. This wasn't a good comic, but the Winona Earp show is really good. Um, I, I love all the actors in it. But yeah, I think this sort of over-sexualization, like I can just turn any page here and it's just, I think I was already on that one, was I? No? See, look, any, any page and you get these images. The sort of witch blade images. And again, that's um that's an okay image. I'm not super sore on that image. But it's 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 not bad art. It's not like modern marble art where it's bad. It's just some people would find that art distasteful. And I can understand why they would find that art distasteful. It's like a step below porn. <laughs> some of those images are a step below porn. But there's two points to that. One one point is that again, I mentioned this in the previous video, men buy comics. And although I'm like I'm looking at this and I'm telling t saying right now, even though I know some of the dialogue in this is really cringy, if I was to flick through this in a store, I would totally pick this up because I'm a, a chauvinist man, and I would totally pick up this. Image. Like, look at that. You see that in a store, you're gonna pick that up because that's cool. But I would be okay if we never went back to images like that. I I want them more realistic. The women DC do at the moment I like. I like um, Jessica Cruz um, from Green Lanterns. I like that book. Um, they look human, they're not super over-sexualized, and I think that's a nice balance. Where you look at Gwenpool, or no, not Gwenpool, Gwen Stacy, yeah, Spider-Gwen, Spider-Gwen. She looks like, 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 and she's not the worst by far, she actually, like, even the comic, it's okay, it's not for me, I wouldn't change much about it, because it's just not for me. But she doesn't look like a woman, she looks like a 15-year-old boy. <laughs> you know? And... <laughs> Again, not all comics need to be for me, but I would like at least some of the women in comics to look like women. But they don't all need to look like this. I feel like I'm going around in circles at some point. And again, look, that is, that is a cool image. That is, like, that type of art style I want back. This sort of, like, look, look at that. That's just, just cool. That's that's cool art style. And the covers are, like, that's just badass. So, Yeah. See, look, I keep getting off track because even though I know this comic wasn't very good, or at least the first two groups of trades, I see some of the artwork and I'm like, that's good artwork. Uh, yes, it's over-sexualized. Again, no human being has a face like that. If you have a jaw like 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 yeah, this dude, um, go to the doctors. You have a bad jaw. <laughs> um, yeah. See, this is this is just cool and. Um, Again, like, you see her in all the, pretty much any image, and I got back to this one. Hang on, let me go further in. See, like, this is even further in, and again, it's all very, very sexualized, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually finding this better than most Marvel comics just flipping through. I don't know why I didn't finish this. I'm going to go back and read it all again. See, like, that's a pretty good image. That's, that's okay. I mean, that's not over-sexualized. I like the boots. Um, so, yeah, I think there is a nice middle ground that can be found, and I would just like to say, I only made this video because I really just want to say, like, this super over-sexualization, if I can find one of the, there we go, this super, this super over-sexualization is not what we want to go back to. Well, that's what some people want to go back to. But the weird boyish thing that they do 
is not what we want either. There's a nice middle ground that can be found. And I would really hope Marvel hire artists who can do the middle ground. Who, who can't just draw super sexualized women or boy, 15 year old boy women. You know, women aren't 15 year old boys. They're women. They have long hair, they have breasts, they have uh, thin hips compared to men. You know, they look like women. You, you see a woman, you know it's a woman. <laughs> so, yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. I really dragged it out because I kept getting distracted by the artwork. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think of this book if you've ever read it. I've never actually met anyone else who's ever read this book. Um, so I tried to convince my sister she wouldn't read it because she just doesn't care for Winona Earp. Um, but, yeah, um... Let me know what you think, like, comment, share, and I read all the comments, so uh, thank you, and um, tune in next time.